Today, the Philippines marked another important chapter in its defense history. A moment that not only marked the growth of the country's maritime power, but also affirmed the nation's resolve to safeguard its territory amidst increasingly tense geopolitical dynamics. On December 2nd, at Naval Operating Base Subic Zambales, a simple yet meaningful ceremony took place. It was here that the Philippines' second Miguel Malvar class guided missile frigate, BRP Diego Silang, Hulk No. FFG-07, was officially inaugurated and joined the ranks of the Philippine Navy's combat ships. The ceremony, presided over by Undersecretary of National Defense Salvador Melker Maison Jr., marked a new milestone in the maritime defense modernization program. However, beyond the grandeur of the ceremony and the symbolism of the new ship's inauguration, lies a far more important question. What does this frigate mean for the Philippines? What capabilities make it so crucial? And how does it strengthen the Philippines' position in the West Philippine Sea? All of this is crucial to understand because the Philippine security today depends not only on its military strength, but also on good governance the eradication of corruption, and resilience to misinformation and political fanaticism. Modern defense is not just about weapons, but about the foundations of a stable nation. Let's start with the basics. What is a Miguel Malvar class guided missile frigate? This is the latest generation of Philippine Navy combat ships. They're designed not just for patrol, but for modern warfare at sea, against surface ships, air threats, and submarines. The BRP Diego Silang is the second ship of this class, after the BRP Miguel Malvar FFG-06, and both are tangible evidence of the Philippines' commitment to enhancing its military capabilities. This ship carries long-range sensor technology, advanced radar, modern navigation systems, and a suite of missiles that provide significant combat capabilities compared to the Philippine Navy's older ships, many of which date back to the World War II era. In other words, this ship is not just a force upgrade. It represents a generational leap. Yesterday's inauguration ceremony also provided a platform for Undersecretary Maison Jr. to reiterate the importance of robust maritime security and interagency collaboration. Central Luzon, where the ship was commissioned, is a highly strategic location, a gateway to the West Philippine Sea, a logistics hub, and a vital route for Navy operations. With increasing reports of interceptions, water cannons, and aggressive maneuvers by Chinese forces in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, the presence of ships like the BRP Diego Silang has become increasingly relevant. This frigate provides the Philippines with something it desperately needs, detection, deterrence, and the ability to respond. The ship can conduct long-range patrols, stay at sea longer, and operate alongside Air Force surveillance aircraft, Coast Guard patrol vessels, and allied assets in joint operations. Its communication systems are compatible with modern operational networks, ensuring more effective interoperability. Not only that, the ship boasts multi-role warfare capabilities from anti-surface to anti-air and limited anti-submarine capabilities. 
Given the increase in foreign submarine activity in the South China Sea, such capabilities are no longer an advantage, but a pressing necessity. The name Diego Silang also holds powerful symbolic value. He was a hero from Ilocos who fought against colonial oppression. Now, his name is attached to a modern warship that will confront threats to our sovereignty at sea. A reminder that the struggle to defend our homeland is never truly over. With the official commissioning status, BRP Diego Silang is no longer a ship undergoing testing or preparation. She is now an active ship, ready to carry out maritime patrol missions, territorial defense, maritime domain awareness operations, and search and rescue. In the coming months, the ship is expected to participate in joint exercises with other branches of the Indonesian Armed Forces, as well as exercises with allies, such as the United States, Japan, Australia, and South Korea. This experience is crucial for enhancing combat capability and readiness. But the prowess of a state-of-the-art ship means little without a well-trained crew. That's why the sailors of the BRP Diego Silang undergo intensive training in combat information center operations, electronic warfare, navigation, mechanical engineering, and damage control. Modernization isn't just about newer ships. It's about the people who operate them. The arrival of this second frigate is proof that the Navy modernization program is moving forward. But there's still a long way to go. The Philippines still needs more combat ships, submarines, maritime surveillance aircraft, and other surface units to truly ensure maritime superiority. After all, every new ship entering service is a step forward, a small piece in the larger puzzle of the Philippines' maritime defense strategy.